Now, now some of you may be triggered by this. Some of you may be triggered by this, but you, you have to realize that what he's saying is actually works in our favor. A legal immigrant sounds like they just got to fix their illegal part, right? You know, it's whatever, they're an immigrant. But listen to what he states. First of all, let me say that we don't use the term illegal immigrants. I actually issued a policy in the Department of Homeland Security. We use the term non-citizen to respect the dignity of... We use the term what? Listen of Homeland Security. We use the term non-citizen to respect the dignity of every individual as a preliminary matter. Uh, okay, we use the term non-citizen. This makes it clear for New York that was trying to say, well, they're citizens, etc. That's why they should be able to vote in their public elections. Clearly, Department of Homeland Security, Mallorca, says they're non-citizens, period. Not illegal immigrants, non-citizens. So now they have no rights to vote. They are non-citizens. So if a non-citizen gives birth to a person in the United States, I ask you, did a non-citizen just create a citizen? How the hell does that happen? What's the status of that baby now? Because you're a non-citizen and you made a baby here in the United States. A non-citizen made a baby here. Well, I'm confused. How did the baby become from a non came from a non-citizen? How does the baby become citizen? You see, how did the baby be able? How was the baby able to do the conversion? I know, I know. Our our uh, setup we have here is you have the baby here, you get to claim uh, citizenship in the United States, and that's all the all the fifty two states. Yeah, I said fifty two. I'm like Biden. All the fifty two states. Oh, is that weeks in a year? Anyway, so uh, didn't Biden say fifty two states? Um. So all our 52 states, yeah, I said it again. That's probably triggering a bunch of you. But some of you are probably saying, isn't it 52 states? It's 52 weeks, guys. 52 weeks. There are 48 states. 48 states. United States. Oh. Two states that are outside the United States. Wait a minute. The continental United States. Yeah, it gets all confusing, doesn't it? So 48 plus 2 is 50, guys. Just for you people that might be a little confused about the states. And they're 13 months in a year. <laughs> You're like, you son of a bitch. All right, look, let me go on. So, look, um, he says they use the term non-citizen. He made it clear. So what do you guys think? That he, that he is Department of Homeland Security. They've run all of it. First of all, let me say that we don't use the term illegal immigrants. I actually issued a policy in the Department of Homeland Security. We use the term non-citizen to respect the dignity of every individual as a preliminary matter. Uh, second, Okay, so non-citizen. Let's just stick with that. Non-citizen, no right to vote, okay? Non-citizens can get temporary driver's licenses here. If you come touring here and visiting... You can get a temporary license, you know, you can get a temporary U.S. license, you have an international license, but a non-citizen cannot get a, 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 a state license, all right? They're giving state licenses to non-citizens in California, per this federal guy here stating it. Now, he said that they're non-citizens. Did the Congress say that? Well, yeah, they're, they are non-citizens. They're, they're not citizen status yet. That is exactly true. So no city or state can say we're going to give them a right to vote. So they should have no right to vote any school districts. And non-citizens are not entitled to um, the benefits of the United States, such as welfare, free housing, and all that. No more than a non-citizen from another country, say Russia, can just email the, uh, the United States saying, Hey, I'm a non-citizen. A non-citizen. So listen to listen to that. I'm a non-citizen. So I'm a citizen, but I'm a non-citizen. It's actually kind of weird. First off, you're saying they're they're not a citizen, but you're using the word citizen. It's kind of weird. They're, you're, so you're implying that they're a citizen inside the United States, but they're a non-citizen in the United States because the person again in Russia can't just email and write in saying, "Look, I'm a non-citizen of the United States, and I'd like you to send me nine thousand dollars a month, well, and my kids too." You would say, oh, no, no, you have to be uh, in the United States. So is it a non-citizen located in the United States? Would that be more 
definitive or can other people just apply that live outside the United States? You know the way I play games, guys. I hope you enjoy a little uh, um, brain game today. Non-citizens is what they refer to, which I agree to. That's even better than illegal immigrants. Immigrants sounds like you got some status. Non-citizen makes it clear. You can't vote. You're a non-citizen. Kind of weird, though. Um, they do have anybody here, even touring, has the same rights as far as they can have freedom of speech while they're here. They have, uh, which is weird, right? Which they have, uh, they somehow magically get our rights. Like, you can't kill them because you'd be killing a person. So you, that things like that, they get you get their you can't say well they were they were illegal I get to kill them, um, not unless they're in your house burglarizing or something like that. But the uh, the um, you can't just say they're they're non citizens so I killed the non citizen, which is weird because why not call them where they're from? So if they're Guatemalan, say that so say non citizen say this person is Guatemalan X. All right, they still a Guatemalan ex. They didn't give up their citizenship from Guatemala. So you would say that you are, you know, uh, your citizenship, you would name it. When you get arrested, um, citizenship can become a question. Um, and you would say Guatemala in this case. Can't, they, none of these people can say, yeah, I'm a U.S. citizen. All right, they can't say it. They still, are, they still have their, their citizenship in their country. That's why they can be sent back to their country. When their court case comes up in four or five years. All right. This is some hard banter for some of you. Enjoy it. Don't enjoy it. Um, and take care. Love you guys. Thanks for my special shout out to my supporters. The Kitties channel.